this is Diane Burroughs from birdsupplies.com and welcome to our weekly video chat. Today we're going to talk about how to give your bird CPR. And you may think, gee, that's a kind of far-fetched, uh, I would never find myself in that situation, but we almost found ourselves in that situation with Smokey once uh, when he stuck his beak in a, in a light socket and gave himself a pretty nasty electrical, electrical burn. He got a pretty good shock and we're just pretty lucky that he didn't uh, actually lose his vital signs. But that was an eye-opener for me in terms of uh, teaching me that I need to learn how to give my bird CPR should the situation ever arise. So, say you find your bird unconscious, uh, maybe on the bottom of the cage, you know, just laying down in an unusual position, and uh, you realize, you know, something's wrong. What you're going to want to do, of course, first is look, listen, and feel. Same thing you would do with, for a human. You're going to look at its chest to see if it's moving up and down. You might even feel around its manners. And then listen to its chest for a heartbeat. If you uh, detect no breathing, no heartbeat, uh, check its airway. Open its beak and see if there's a bead or something stuck in there. Uh, you might want to check and see if there's an injury like I had to with Smokey. And if there is, of course, sweep the bead out of the way. And then you're going to want to... Uh, again, after the airway is clear, check for the vitals. If your bird still does not uh, still is not breathing and doesn't have vital signs, you're going to want to start uh, rescue breathing. And the way you do that is you position your bird so that you can tilt its head back, put your fingers over its nares, and gently open its beak. Uh, you can seal your lips over the beak, and use your again you know cover the nares with your fingers and do five puffs of breath. You're going to want to see that the chest is, ex is expanding with the breaths. Now again, look, listen, and feel. Is the bird breathing? Do you hear a heartbeat? That sort of thing. If at this point in time your bird if, if after about a minute or so your bird still does not have a heartbeat and uh, um, is not breathing, you're going to want to start CPR at this point in time. Keep in mind that you're going to give about five breaths for every 10 chest compressions. And a bird is going to need uh, about 40 to 60 compressions a minute. So that would be about one a second. For a large bird, you'd use three fingers. For a medium bird, maybe two, and for a small parrot lack, just one finger would be sufficient. And you just press right in the middle of its sternum about one time a second. So give, her, uh, give CPR at a ratio of five breaths and ten compressions. Do this for approximately a minute, and then check for the vitals again. Do you hear a heartbeat? Do you feel the breathing? Is the chest going up and down? If not, continue your CPR until your bird is responsive or, you know, until you would know that the situation may not uh, resolve. However, once your bird resumes consciousness, you're going to want to be very careful because the bird, um, you know, could easily become very startled, very frightened, and bite you. So you're going to want to use a very careful uh, holding mannerism to keep its head in check and stick it inside its hospital cage. And the next thing you're, of course, going to want to do is head right over to your emergency veterinarian. Uh, have them on speed dial if you can on your cell phone and call on the way, but get your bird to the emergency vet as soon as possible, an avian vet if possible. So that's how you give your bird CPR. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I hope you never have to use it. Thanks for watching BirdSupplies.com.